I've said it for years. The BMW X7 is the brand's best luxury car, and one of the best overall Beamers on sale. Despite being the antithesis of what BMWs have always been, the ultimate driving machine, the BMW X7 is a great driving car with tons of interior space and real, well thought out SUV features. Now, its new LCI will fix some of its exterior design issues, while also adding a new engine and new cabin technology. In this video, we'll discuss all of the important new features of the newly facelifted BMW X7 LCI. As always, if you like this video, please subscribe, leave a like, and click the little bell for new video notifications. Split headlights are the big news. As with its upcoming 7 Series and XM cousins, the BMW X7 LCI will gain a new split headlight design that's entirely different from any other headlight design in the brand's history. It's a bold new design direction for a car that's already polarizing. The headlights are now split into two halves, an upper and a lower. The upper half features a modern, slimmer take on the signature dual halo BMW headlight design, by offering two slim upside-down hockey stick LEDs. They seem to act as daytime running lights as well as turn signals, leaving the lower half to handle the main and high beams. The lower half is much bigger, due to housing the main lighting elements, and it extends into vertical air intakes in the front bumper. It's also slightly tinted, to give the impression that the main beams are hiding in the background until needed. This new split headlight design is one of the most radical design changes in BMW history, and it isn't going anywhere anytime soon. All high-end BMWs will use some version of it, including the 7 Series and XM, as split headlights and big kidney grills will become the signature designs of all ultra-premium BIMers moving forward. Another minor update to the front end comes from the kidney grill, which is now illuminated. BMW is calling it the Kidney Glow, and it's essentially just some lights in the grill, but it does look snazzy at night. One of the biggest changes for the BMW X7 LCI is the addition of iDrive 8. The newest iDrive 8 system, borrowed from the BMW iX, is a massive improvement over the previous iDrive 7. Not only does it look better, due to updated graphics and crisper resolution, but it provides far more functionality than ever before. Now, the car's menu screen is set up like a smartphone, with a variety of different apps to choose from. Those apps can be organized how you like, and you can even choose to only view important vehicle apps to rid the screen of some clutter. Voice controls are now improved as well, allowing for greater natural voice recognition and more functionality. If you want the temperature in just your zone to go up, just say, I'm getting cold, and it will know who said it and whose temperature to increase. You can even say something like, I want to warm my butt, and it will know whose butt needs warming and turn the seat heater on. In addition to the new iDrive 8 system, the BMW X7 LCI also gets the same new digital dials as the BMW iX. They're not only easier to read and understand, but they also offer more customization, allowing you to change the layout of the dials and what information is displayed. They might not be as flashy as those found in other brands' cars, but these new dials are light years ahead of the outgoing ones. Even prior to the LCI, the BMW X7 had one of the best interiors in the brand's lineup, and now it's even better. Along with the new updates, the X7 LCI still has superb seats, incredible headroom, limo-like legroom for second row passengers, and even a standard third row which is more capacious than you might think. Even the trunk is excellent, with dedicated buttons for raising and lowering all second and third row seats at once. The BMW X7 is a well thought out machine for customers who really need its space and practicality. That hasn't changed with the LCI, it's just also been given new toys. BMW's first all-new V8 engine in ages will also now hit the scene on this new X7 LCI. It's internally known as the S68 engine and will be a proper M-Division V8 that will also be used in some M-Performance cars, such as this new X7 M60i. Just like its predecessor, the S68 will be a 4.4-liter twin-turbocharged V8 and will get some proper motorsport tech, such as a cross-bank exhaust manifold, bank symmetrical turbochargers, external engine cooling with an all-new oil pump, a reinforced crankshaft, and a lightweight oil sump. More importantly, it also gains 48-volt mild hybrid technology, with added power from an electric motor. 
BMW claims the 48-volt mild hybrid motor makes 12 horsepower but up to 147 pound-feet of torque. It's also said to aid the smoothing of auto start-stop technology. Total system power for the BMW X7 M60i is 530 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. According to BMW, the M60i gets from 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds. The S68 engine won't be the only new engine, though. An updated B58 3.0-liter turbocharged straight-six will also be used in the BMW X7 xDrive 40i, which will also gain 48 volt tech. Impressively, the mild hybrid setup in the 40i model can actually drive the car under electric power only at very low speeds. BMW doesn't say what sort of speeds, but don't expect anything faster than parking lot speed. The B58-powered X7 xDrive 40i will also make 380 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque, but it can be boosted to 398 pound-feet of torque with some temporary help from the hybrid motor. BMW claims 0-60 to 60 of 5.8 seconds. With most BMW LCI updates, you get some new headlights, maybe a tech upgrade inside, and some new color options, but it's mostly the same car. This new BMW X7 LCI, though, is so comprehensively updated that it feels like a different car altogether. The entire front end is different. The user interfaces inside the car are different. And the engines have been completely overhauled. If you're an X7 owner, upgrading to this new LCI model will look and feel dramatically different and make your ownership experience feel brand new.